Hi, everyone. My name is Jacob Mulligan. I lead the analytics team at Firefly Health. We're a small primary care startup based in the Boston area, and I'll hand it over to Dom for the first few slides. Hi, everyone. Yeah, thanks, Jacob. My name is Dom. I'm the senior sales engineer uh, here in Fivetrain in the Sydney office, uh, and very excited to be here with Jacob today. So, uh, yeah, let's get going. If you jump to the next slide for me, Jacob. So today we're going to have a talk about Fivetran and DBT packages and how they can improve the speed of your data engineering and, and data analytics projects. So at an overview, what is Fivetran? So we are a fully automated data pipeline with over 150 connectors. And the primary aim is to move your source data into a destination. Do that with zero code, a few clicks of configuration, and essentially a plug and play to get that data moving very quickly. Obviously, resiliency and, and data integrity is hugely important to us. So Fivetran as a service will make sure that that data is always flowing for you. We'll have some smarts to recover if there's any downtime in those pipelines and some good intelligence to roll back uh, to the last safe spot and really just make sure your data is in your destination reliably and ready for you to do your analytics. And of course, we are fully, a fully cloud native, fully managed, which enables us to scale and meet your, your changing needs of your sources uh, and your data as well. So jump to the next slide, Jake. Thank you. So that is Fivetran. And then we obviously uh, have done a partnership with, with Fishtown Analytics and DBT. And this talk is mainly going to be focused around those DBT packages. So, so what is a package? Uh, they're, they're a way to import models and macros that have already been written that are open source uh, into your projects. So they're, they're a very collaborative way to kind of model your data and, and quick start and bring some engineering processes to your, to your data destinations. They're super easy to install. Uh, there's about three steps to install, install a package. You create a package.yamls file in, in your own project. You define any uh, dependencies of, of the package you've chosen into that packages.yaml file. And then you run the dbt depths command, and that's it. That will put that package in your project. If you be able to use, interact with, you can customize it to your needs and, and really just jumpstart that kind of analytics and data modeling piece for you. Next slide there, Jacob. Thank you. So we have a couple of types of DBT packages and these are split into two main kind of parts. So we'll have utility packages uh, that have macros and we'll have model packages as well. So the utility packages, uh, as I said, they'll have macros in them that you can use in your own project. And these are kind of commonly used code blocks uh, or functions that, that will help that you don't have to rebuild all the time. So a very popular one, DBT utils, I'm sure many of you uh, have used it. And if you haven't, definitely check it out. It is super helpful. And then some other kind of examples that are pretty prevalent, data spine, uh, there's a surrogate key one that will do some hashing if you don't have uh, any keys and one to pivot out your data, which is, which is always something to need. So they're kind of quick, reusable, kind of like libraries or, or utilities that you can use inside your packages. Uh, and then we have model packages. And these are that kind of take raw data, generally from Fivetran will land that normalized schema for you uh, and transfer these into analytically ready models. So, so you can start putting them into your kind of reporting layers. A few examples, we, we've produced a lot of these are obviously all open source. We have Salesforce, which I know Jacob's going to touch on in a little bit. We have Zendesk, HubSpot, Facebook, Google Ads, uh, a whole range kind of there. So they're the really ones that will give you that kind of analytics transformation and, and modeling piece. So with that, that's a kind of a brief overview of uh, Fivetran works with packages uh, and why this partnership is, is really important to us. And, and we think it provides a lot of uh, value to our customers. And I'll hand it off to Jacob to, to see how Firefly Health have kind of uh, used these packages in their solutions. Cool. Thanks, Dom. So yeah, in the next couple of slides, I'll talk about how kind of specifically we use the Salesforce package at Firefly. And first, just a quick kind of background, Firefly Health is a virtual first primary care startup based out of Boston. We're about 50 people. And a, the, the analytics team right now is three of us. So many, many of my coworkers are you know, engineers and analysts, but uh, a lot of the company are also nurse practitioners and nutritionists, behavioral health specialists that are, are providing care using our platform. And as an analytics team, we spend time supporting both the, our clinicians in kind of understanding our patient populations over time and kind of health outcomes. We support kind of leadership with a variety of things, but also importantly, we support kind of our, our sales and marketing team in understanding things like our sales pipeline. So 
I want to talk briefly about the kind of the data system that we have and how DBT fits into it. So we obviously use Fivetran as well. So we, we use Fivetran to extract data from our medical record software, from our production database, from the, the software that our uh, in-house product and engineering team builds. And then obviously a really long list of kind of other third-party sources like Google Analytics, Segment, Salesforce, Jira. And I mean, one of the things that's been a, been a, a big win for us as a, again, a really small data team, and it was actually just me for the first year and a half, is that getting data out of all these different sources into Snowflake becomes turnkey in, in kind of a prior role I was in. We were writing, kind of hand rolling our own our own code to to extract data and load it into our data warehouse, and then we have we have DBT that uh, we, we use to transform raw data and uh, make build value added models on top of it. And, and Looker is our BI tool. So we we did not have DBT in as as part of our stack until maybe two or three months ago. And kind of the moment we realized that DBT was available and, and the, these five train packages were also available, we were really excited to start using, using these two together. So because five train has kind of standardized the way that data gets exported from a place like Salesforce and loaded into Snowflake, they've been able to build these, you know, this, this value added package that transforms kind of a, a, a like hundreds of tables that come from Salesforce and, and, and are made available in Snowflake and kind of surface like the right data from our accounts table, from the opportunities table, from the users table and cross join kind of users managers to give us manager level reports. And as a former uh, or still software engineer, kind of be before being an analyst, I was a software engineer at another company. And something that I, that I like about this kind of DBT uh, package approach is that it, 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 it is very much kind of the software engineering mindset for me. We're able to test all of our pipelines before they go out. All of the packages that we use come with tests. I, I sleep better at night knowing that the, the data pipeline we have in place is, is, is kind of cloud hosted and not managed by us and it's it's all tested and kind of me and the analytics team at Firefly are able to spend more time kind of doing the like the the novel things that that Firefly needs needs to answer our own questions versus kind of modeling standard Salesforce data or Google Analytics data for example Okay, so now let's get specific about how to actually get started with the Salesforce package. So we, there are two ways to use DBT. You can use the command line interface. We use the cloud UI, which is what you're looking at here. And this is a screenshot of the packages file that Don mentioned. So in, the, in our packages file, you can see that on line 14 and 15, we reference Salesforce source and just off screen, this line 17 and 18, is the Salesforce package. So this I've come to see is a really common pattern in package development in DBT that there's kind of a source package, which seems to typically kind of renames columns and just kind of cleans up the column naming and kind of, and then the kind of Salesforce package is what builds the kind of value added models on top of, you know, a bunch of data from, from across Salesforce. So we add those lines to our package.yaml file, we run dbt depths, which installs everything in this package folder as dependencies, and then we execute dbt run. And the moment that we run dbt run, dbt is executing SQL against our Snowflake data warehouse, and is in this case, materializing kind of these models as views in Snowflake. <clears throat> and something else that the DBT or the, the kind of this package in specific and a lot of packages do that make them also extensive extendable is they have these pass through columns. So at Firefly on our opportunity and account table, we have created a handful of custom columns that are kind of specific to kind of our, our, our sales team and our needs. And <clears throat> in the uh, kind of further in the project.yaml file, you're able to set up these these kind of custom columns that will then get lifted up onto the models that this package creates. So something else that happens when you run dbt run is 
uh, DBT creates this DAG for you. And for me, I'm a visual person and find things like this kind of really helpful for understanding kind of what is happening under the hood. And the, the, the text here is a little small, but like the light green kind of line blocks are the kind of raw tables that, that Fivetrain has loaded into our Snowflake environment. And then the, the, blue, the blue square show all of the different transformations that are happening kind of at each step of the, of the DAG. And if you kind of on the very far right side there, we have <clears throat> a Salesforce snapshot. We have a Salesforce opportunity enhanced. <clears throat> and you can see with the opportunity enhanced model, this is a model that we, this is kind of our most used model from this package. And you can see that that model is pulling together data from account and opportunity and user. And then, <clears throat> and then further upstream from both of those is the source package, which you know, um, just cleans up the kind of raw, raw data. All right, <clears throat> and then here, this is a screenshot from Snowflake. So just to demonstrate that we have pass through columns available, this and this data is kind of immediately available in Snowflake. So some additional things that this package does specifically for us that we appreciate is it, it pre-calculates things for us like the number of opportunities closed this month, the number that were closed won and closed loss. It pulls out <clears throat> pieces of data that we're always going to want onto the opportunity, like who on the sales team is the owner for that account or that opportunity. And lastly, to kind of put, put a bow on this at the kind of very end of the funnel here for us is actually now creating visualizations in Looker. And this is, you know, an, an example with some, some fudged data for kind of some, some visualizations that we are able to do at, at, at Firefly with these models. So we're able to get a, get a quick snapshot of how many deals we have by different kind of opportunity types, whether it's a broker or primary care or return to work deal broken down by the stage that those opportunities are at in the different stages of the funnel. And then a just kind of a high level uh, snapshot of our overall pipeline. Cool. And with that, it's back to you, Dom. Awesome. Thanks, Jacob. And it's so good to hear, like you said, just within a couple of months installing, learning DBT, and then with these packages, being able to get up and running right to your visualization tool and, uh, and start answering Firefly's questions about the data rather than, as you said, just doing uh, the data pipeline and the building piece. So i uh, super glad to hear that uh, and an, an awesome story. Thank you for sharing. So to, to kind of give a, a kind of closing overview then of Five Trends DBT package solution, a few points we'd like to touch on. So I, I guess, why are we doing this? Why it makes sense? So Five Trend, as we said, is it, it's really focused on moving that data into your destination and, and having that automated and reliable and, and as quick as possible for you. And we believe DBT is fantastic at, at doing a similar kind of process inside your, your data warehouse on the analytics and, and the modeling piece. So as Jacob kind of touched on, we land uh, normalized schemas uh, and we provide those EIDs to our customers to help them understand what's happening, for example, inside their, inside their Salesforce data, which means then we get a very good idea of what our customers are doing with their source data. And we really want to help them provide a foundation that they got, and with the tool like DBT, that makes that very possible uh, and very easy to achieve. Uh, and then using the packages, our customers uh, and Jake, as you heard, can really shrink the time they need to do that modeling uh, that the analyst needs to spend bringing that data together and focus on kind of driving the insights out of that data and taking the actions on it. How we do this, so there's a few ways that we kind of work with DBT uh, and, and collaborate to build these packages, but it's also very much with our customers. Every time we, we take a source and we, we build a DBT package for it, we start off with a round of customer interviews. And really our goal there is kind of to, to better understand uh, what you're all doing with your data day in, day out, what kind of business questions you, you're answering with that data, what kind of dashboards you're building as we saw Jacob show on, and really where are the pain points when you're trying to model that data and, and get it into a nice analytic ready kind of format. So then with that, with, as we said, with the macros and the utilities, that really lets us help it bring that all time kind of together and distribute it across multiple destinations. So all our packages thus far have been kind of tested on BigQuery, Snowflake and Redshift to try and make these as widespread and, and usable as possible. And then also we do this with two packages, like Jacob said. So for the five trans sources, our connectors, we have two packages. So we have a source package 
And that's really there to define the data, run some tests, make sure it's good. As Jacob said, clean up some column names and just get that raw kind of five trend data in a, in a, in a nice clean and ready state that everyone can kind of benefit from. Uh, and then we have the transformation package and that uses generally the, the staging packages outputs. And that's where we do the kind of more advanced modeling. We transform the, the normalized data. We get it into those analytically ready schemas that you can connect your visualizations tool directly to, or with the variables, like you saw, you can kind of customize those and, and really personalize them to your, your business and the use case that you're trying to solve. And then lastly, uh, can you get involved? Yes, this is obviously open source. These packages where really want to collaborate with yourselves and your customers on these, and they're obviously all freely available for you to use. We welcome any contributions back to our code. If you have feedback, something that you're trying to model that, that we haven't quite modeled yet, something you think we could add on to our models. Our mission here really with this DBT stuff is to kind of empower you analysts and streamline that piece of the data warehouse as much as we can. So please would love it to be a collaborative process. If we jump to the next slide. Cool. So that's going to be most of it for us today. We hope you enjoyed the talk. Me and Jacob are super thankful to be here for Fishtown Analytics for having us as well. We've got a Slack channel you can see on the screen. We'll both be in there to answer any questions you have. So, so please come in and, and log them in there. Or if there's any more questions about Fivetran and our DBT packages, you can email our solutions team. Kristen, who is, is kind of championing all this work for us, her and her team, she actually will do some office hours. So there'll be one-on-one. -on -one. You can book a 15-minute slot through her uh, and kind of ask any questions about our packages or anything you need. And also we're, we're available on the Slack channel as well. And I think that's all for us.